morning and welcome to another uh, video. We got the pass holder exclusive to kind of view uh, Remy's ride, uh, Ratatouille, um, early. So we're gonna do that. And we're just gonna kind of explore the whole French uh, pavilion. So please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If sort of family vlogs is what you like, please subscribe, Duke Family Chronicles, and let's go have some fun. So one of the little tricks that we've learned, I mean, if you're gonna explore the entire Epcot World Showcase and whatnot, it doesn't really matter. But if you're gonna start at a particular place, kind of see where the entrance or where the place is closest to. Because there are two entrances here at Epcot. One is off of the Beach and Yacht Club, and the other is sort of the central uh, entrance way. But France is closest to the Skyliner, as you can see right there. That's a picture of France. So we're gonna enter from the back or International Gateway, I think. So from Boardwalk or from the Beach and Yacht Club, you just either cross over the bridge or you just keep going straight and you run right into the back portion or the Epcot International Gateway. And uh, you're right next door to France if you go across the bridge and be the UK. But you see right over here to our left, I don't want to show security here, but is where the friendship boats load once you're in the either boardwalk, beach club, yacht club, or coming from Hollywood Studios. So actually we parked at Hollywood Studios and then took the boat over to beach club and yacht club. And you could do either way, boardwalk, and just walked over, swan and dolphin, same thing. So right there is the entrance. That's Gusto's. And we're excited to show you. Maybe we can show this a video. We're not really sure because we know it's 4D or 3D, so not real sure we'll be able to show some video of it, but we'll see. There's a good picture of the gateway or entrance. And then here is your lagoon. Over the bridge and you're into France, of which they're blocking right now because the park isn't officially open until 11 o'clock. So they're not, uh, not opening it yet, but we are again here at the International Food and Wine Festival 2021. All right, so here we are at the France Pavilion. We're just gonna kind of explore this area. Several places, we've, we've never eaten at the ice cream shop here. We went one time and it was closed. Yep. So, but we've been to the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Okay. Never been to Les Chefs de France. So, the uh, Ratatouille area is over that way. So we'll go over and explore that. As you'll see Remy, uh, maybe you can see him right there. Beautiful falls. There's the France usually pavilion for all the festivals. We'll kind of take advantage of this time frame where nobody's here and just really take a look at all this area. There's nobody's in the area at this point. Usually they have Beauty and the Beast right here. That was for Flower and Garden. I know, but I wish they would just keep it. And then right back here is the 16 flavors that we were so disappointed that it was closed. So, several restaurants we haven't eaten back here before. Reservations for the pass holder premiere of uh, the ride is uh, 12 to 1. So we're just going to hang out here, show some things around the pavilion, maybe get some ice cream, maybe get a little breakfast here at the uh, cafe uh, that has good sandwiches, hopefully some breakfast sandwiches. But um, so basically, what we're hearing is that you can ride the ride as many times as you want within that hour, um, but we'll find out, I guess. So see how, I guess it depends on how, where the ride breaks down and how many people are in the ride. How
we're gonna go get some breakfast here. So here's all the really good sandwiches that they have. Pastries. Quiche, anyone? Go ahead, babe. Hey, can I get one of the bacon, egg, and cheese for Look at all these delicious desserts. I think we've had a few of these desserts before. They are out of this world. Eclair. That looks interesting right there, huh? Yeah, I think we've had the... Oh, look at these cookies, too. Holy cow. So I think we got one of the desserts. You said we got the strawberry tart. I know we've had the creme brulee like before. Oh, Mickey ears. wanted to show you a little bit about what we got here. Um, well, I got a coffee, but egg, bacon, and cheese right there. And then macarons. Uh -huh. Macarons. 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 And then strawberry tart. Yes. Looking good. So this shop uh, where we ate is right next to the uh, exit for the Beauty and the Beast show. So is where you come out is in this shop and they have all kinds of Paris merch. Bonjour Paris. What is this? Oh cool. Nice little sweatshirt. Monsieur Mickey. Bonjour Paris. That's the best French you're gonna get from me right there. What is your favorite food, Remy says? Pizza. <laughs> so all kinds of pretty cool Paris merch. Are these jammy shoes? Sure. Or no, leggings, I guess, huh? Leggings? This is pretty cool. Mini and Mickey and Minnie in Paris. How much is that, Mommy? $44.99. Nothing on the back. Cool. And of course, you have the Beauty and the Beast merch. Got a little chip right there. I'm older now. Oh, this is cool. Lumiere. Uh, Lumiere's free. No. Lumiere is $39.99 for Lumiere. Lumiere must light up or do something special. Pot holders. Oh, we got a baby bell. How cute. Very cute. And more bell. And then more dresses over here. All right, let's go explore some other shops here in France Pavilion. It's like a clothing shop. Dreaming Paris. Paris forever. So if you're into Marie, this is the place to go. Mademoiselle Mini. Oh la la.
I like these patterns though, they really are pretty cool, huh? Marie bag. Water bottle. Little girls, oh la la, a mini. Look at these mini ears. What a cool shirt here. Disneyland Paris. Oh my God. It's gonna drive me crazy. Remy, you're gonna drive me crazy. All kinds of merch here in this shop. Oh, mon amour, mon amour, mon amour. Love. And you've got your own little wine cellar here in the shop. Go out the back. We can do put you out right by Beauty and the Beast. So I think we're gonna head in. This is a really cute show here. I did it. Got all kinds of clothing memorabilia. Not just Beauty and the Beast, but from all kinds of shows. This is from Sleeping Beauty. We've shown this before in a vlog, but it's it's very cool. Hale as old as time. Hello everyone, welcome to France. We're about to enter the Palais Cinema Studio I like this one, Phantom of the Opera. I really like this one. So if you've ever seen Beauty and the Beast sing along, would definitely say go do it. Love that they got Angela Lansbury to do that. She's the original person who did it. Awesome. Definitely worth his time here in France. So here's one of the other shops here in France. They actually have some different perfumes and colognes that you can get. And there he is. Remy himself, ready to cook. And here we are for the Ratatouille opening. Officially opens up in October 1st, but we're here for the pass holder preview. All right, so we are into the new area back here. There's the Le Crepierre de Paris. I think I did that right. Yeah, we could always come back there to the bathrooms, but this was always blocked off. And here we have Remy's Ratatouille Adventure! So how cool is that? And here's the ride entrance right here. It says five minutes into Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. So we're going through the queue right now. How cool is this? So it's like going on a French roof or something. Oh my gosh, I Sorry. I'm 
How excited are we? First time, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Woohoo! Here we go. Uh-oh, it's gonna get hot. We're in the burner. Ah! <laughs> right, we're on the dining floor. Smells like champagne a little bit. This is the, a window out here by the ride where you've got a bunch of wine bottles in. And I read online that the bottles have years on them. So 2007 is the year Ratatouille movie came out. So that's the 2007. 2014 is when the Ratatouille ride opened in um, Disneyland Paris. And then 2021, obviously, is the Ratatouille Disney World Epcot opening. Cool. So, little all Disney, little, uh, little Disney facts for you. And the olives, well, they're just olives. So here's all the flavors. You can have the ratatouille. No, stay over here. Uh, we're 
about going to have some crepes at La Creperie de Paris here in the Ratatouille grand opening. Pass holder, I guess. All right, we are next. A bit of the ambiance here. All right, so we waited about 40 minutes to come in, and they actually have a walk up that you can get, I think, about the same things, but we wanted to just come sit down because it's a very hot day. So, just to let you know, about 40 minutes, and it wasn't that busy at that time. All right, we got three samples here. Uh, we're all going to kind of take a little bit of each. So, he's going to try first the banana. Banana. And then I got the, I think it has peach and almonds, red berries, actually called Melba. And then you got the Gourmand, which has chocolate, chocolate spread whipped cream. Looking good. All right, so you can see um, a little bit of the peach and red berry in there. So we'll have to see how good it is. All right, so I'm gonna try a, got everything in here, I think. Almond, peach, the whole shebang. Let's go. Mm. i go for that. Whoa, good stuff. Mine is really good. Uh, I think the caramel on top of it tops it. Um, the bananas are really good with it too. We don't, we didn't have that many bananas. Mom says she doesn't know how to cut these. <laughs> don't tattle on me. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so Breeze, what do you think? Tastes like a pancake. Tastes like a pancake? Well, you're devouring that puppy. It tastes like a pancake. Got chocolate in it? It looks like a pancake. It's got chocolate? It's good. It's good? It's really good. It's got chocolate in it, though? All right, All right we'll take a look at a little merch here, but most of it's the same stuff you could get at the shop, except this little thing. Actually, this is what the ride looks like. A cart, yeah. Right. Sorry, I stand corrected. A meal, Remy's brother. That little chef hat, $39.99. Does Remy come out of that? It lights up. Oh, it lights up. It has like a shadow. Oh yeah, all right. Better do something for $39.99. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can't see the light. Yeah, well, yeah, you can see a little bit. No, maybe, yeah, there we go. You see Remy's dancing. Yeah, okay. And? There he goes. Got it. All right. So if you need a fix for light up cheese, either Remy fan or Packer fan, here you go. There you go. You get your cheese light cheese up. Cheese plush. Okay, it's got Remy. Remy and Emil. What? There's there's a meal and Remy. Oh, I guess it kind of okay. So overall, I think that the uh, Ratatouille ride was really cool. Uh, my favorite part was probably the beginning, where Gusto appeared. Yeah, that was probably my favorite part. That was a really cool part. And I liked the part where we were in the was it the pantry or the that was okay. cool. But I definitely thought if you're looking for like a ride at Epcot that you think um, like if you had a little little kid below four or something, this would kind of be the ride they would probably most likely want to ride. Um, but overall, um, I thought it was actually pretty cute. Definitely watch the movie if you haven't watched it. Um, it's very very cute and. At first I thought this was going to be kind of a Kong-ish ride, but it turns out to be like kind of all over the place. And mom said there was like six tracks or something, and we got the same one twice, so. All right, thank you for joining us on our little special preview, pass holder, annual pass holder preview of the Ratatouille ride here at Epcot. Um, I thought it was, it was fun. Um, it was a good time and our little overview of France. 
and uh, we're gonna we are gonna come back and do France as far as the food and, food and wine. wine. But yeah. it just got too late. But we did kind of review France, and uh, again, I'm just gonna say, look, if you haven't ever done, go to France, do the Beauty and the Beast sing along, awesome. But Ratatouille, right? I thought it was good. It's very much like the mechanics of uh, Mickey and Minnie's and Rise of the Resistance. Mm -hmm. um, that magnetic track. Magnetic track. So that's that's pretty cool. I thought it was neat. Um, I just, I don't think I would wait more than an hour. What do you think? I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait an hour for yeah. it. I, I think 30, 40 minutes tops on that one. It's very cute. Don't get me wrong. It's very cute. And I think right now, probably, well, we like Soren, but it's probably one of the best rides. Epcot needed, needed a ride. We, we know that Bonafide Epcot ride. needs yeah. some refreshment yes. for sure so i think it's a great addition if yeah. you will and that whole area back there we tried to show you guys it's gorgeous with the fountain with gusto's sign yeah back behind the eiffel tower it's really very pretty so it's yeah. really pretty creepery um, that was a that was kind of a gem that i didn't realize good. when i read about it online that it had you had a sit down and a quick service yes. component so the, the sit down was awesome yeah it was and a fun experience. about 35 40 minutes for the sit down yeah so i don't know was. if they'll do reservations or not but definitely worth it and there's more on that menu we want to try yeah so fun time uh, I think definitely France now has become one of the one of the cool pavilions to kind of go and see so I definitely would check out Ratatouille um, I just think I would kind of watch your wait times that's all I would say yep okay so Keeks take us out don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell bye, bye. on to our next adventure